friends! Welcome back to our channel if you've seen our videos before and if you're new, welcome in! My name is Hope and today I have for you guys a bag review video. These are some of my favorite videos to film on our channel. I just love talking about bags and accessories. I love talking about the nitty gritty of them and I love talking about how they can fit into my lifestyle or into the parks specifically. And so today we are going to be talking about a really fun style and this is a brand new collaboration between Disney and Lug. This just released for the Festival of the Arts 2024. My sister purchased it and I I stole it. <laughs> That's right. We're talking about this backpack. I was actually under the weather for the first day of the festival. Usually Abby and I go together and we have a blast and we shop and we eat and we do hunts and all that stuff and I was really sick uh, the first day of the festival. I was not feeling good. I had this horrible cold and basically she went and did all the fun things without me, went and saw all the merch. You've probably seen that merchandise video. I will link it up above if you missed it, but she went and showed all the festival merch and then also showed the items that she purchased. And when I saw that she brought home this bag, I was like, stop everything. I am stealing this bag. I am wearing it. I am going to review it for everybody and then I will give it back <laughs> because isn't that the best part about sisters? Like I, your stuff is my stuff. My stuff is my stuff and basically I was like yes I need to use this this looks awesome so thank you to Abby for letting me borrow slash steal this bag I promise I will give it back but I just had to check it out this is such an exciting moment to me having a new collaboration between Disney and another company and I want to tell you guys all about this bag so if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my bag review videos before I will link a playlist up above that has all of them I I am such a fan of Disney collaboration content, um, specifically the Disney Vera Bradley collections. I have quite a few bag review videos and haul videos with Disney and Vera Bradley. And so when I saw that Disney was having a brand new collaboration with a new company, I was so excited. And this is actually a company that I have known about for years. And I have just recently discovered that a lot of people in the Disney community have never heard of the brand Lug. And I was like, what? This is, this is craziness because I have used and loved this brand since I was, I don't know, a preteen, teenager, I don't know. I love this brand and I'm so excited to get to talk about it today. So the item in question, the bag that we are talking about is this one right here. And this is the first ever Disney Parks released collaboration collection between Disney and Lug. This bag was released in collaboration for Festival of the Arts 2024. There were two bags that were released for the festival first day. This one, which is a backpack, and then and there was also a crossbody. The crossbody, from what I understand, sold out within the first like hour, hour and a half of the first day. So Abby didn't even get to see it. I didn't get to see it, obviously, because I wasn't there. But um, yeah, it sold out like a split. I would have loved to have reviewed that one for you guys as well. However, I heard from a little birdie that they were only getting a partial quantity for the first day of the festival and that there is some sort of delayed production or delayed delivery with the rest of those crossbodies. So if you had your heart set on the Figment crossbody, keep checking back. If you're a local, keep checking back at the parks, or if you're still going on your trip for Festival of the Arts, definitely take a look and see if the crossbody is there because I've heard that they're not quite done yet. There will be some more releasing later on. So a few weeks after Festival First Day, maybe there's more, maybe not but I do believe that this backpack is currently sold out now as well. It did last a little bit longer than the crossbody, but I think now by the time that I'm filming this video, it is sold out in the parks. However, do not lose hope, my friends, because this collection between Disney and Lug will live on. From what I've heard, this is all rumor and speculation, I have heard that Disney and Lug are going to continue to release products together throughout the festivals for the rest of 2024. I've heard 
bird that possibly there may be an orange bird collection coming for flower and garden we may get another character for food and wine so I basically am talking about the style of this bag not specifically the fact that it is figment or festival of the arts because I want you guys to have all the information about the style so that if you're visiting Epcot later in the year and you're interested in picking one of these up there's a chance that you can get this style just from a different collection so that is all hearsay that is what I've heard nothing confirmed by Disney but don't lose hope, my friends. <laughs> you may still get one of these bags yet. Before we get into the details of this bag, I want to give a little synopsis and kind of brand introduction to Lug. If you've never heard of this brand, it is a travel and outdoor inspired brand started by a couple, a husband and wife team who started this company back in 2005. Hence my little Y2K themed outfit. I know that I'm kind of giving High School Musical vibes, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I was just trying to go for the artsy and here we are, but it helps that the company was started in 2005, Y2K era, and they wanted to create a bag or a collection of bags that were organizational and functional for travel. So that is where the brand started, travel products, things that are functional, things that are comfortable, and things that fit into your everyday life. And so that is like the origin story of Lug. So I found out about them, I don't know, in the early 2010s, maybe it was in the 2000s, I'm not sure. I've known about them for a really long time and I loved the idea of having a travel forward or an organization style bag that is just practical. That is basically it. It is practical. A lot of them are very neutral or solid um, styles. And then throughout the years, they've started adding some bright colors, some patterns, and some really fun things to their bags. But the core has always been organization and function. If you are interested in the brand itself, I will leave the website linked down below. You can read about their origin stories and how they began but the company is always about quality and organization. And so when they came to Disney and made a collaboration, I was like, this is from my dreams <laughs> because I love the idea and the, the style of Disney, but let's be honest, their quality isn't always the highest. And so bringing a company like Lug, who is so passionate about quality, that made me so excited. So the bag that we have here is released in or was released in the Disney parks. This one is just called the backpack. I don't believe it has an actual style name from Disney. Here is the tag. So it says Disney parks, lug, tag is amazing quality as well. Check out how cute the little hidden Mickeys are on there. And then this one is uh, retail $90. We were able to get our 20% pass holder discount. So it is on the higher priced side, but for the quality and with the discount, it definitely makes it worth it. So let's jump into it. This style is very reminiscent and very familiar to me as the hopper bag from Lug. So they took the basic design of the hopper and turned it into a Disney magic version, which is so fun. So first things first, I will get into the stats about this bag and then we will go into the features and all my favorite, my, my thoughts about the bag. So first of all, really cute design. It kind of is like a little bit retro, a little bit like lunchbox vibes with the color blocking, but it is a backpack. So you have the two straps on the back. These are fully adjustable and lots of organization. The dimensions on this bag are nine and a half wide, 14 and a half high, and four and three quarters inches deep. So it is quite a large size. I would say it's considerably larger than a mini backpack by Loungefly. I feel like that's a great size for comparison because a lot of us in the Disney community have a mini backpack. So it's great to compare with that. Um, on the larger side, I would even say that this is bigger than the small backpack from Vera Bradley. So good large size. It has a little bit of almost like a rectangle shape to it. So you can fit a ton of items in this bag. On top here, you have a padded carrying handle. This makes it great for when you travel. You can just pick it up and go. You also can hang it on a hook, which makes it super functional when using it. Up here, you have Festival of the Arts 2024. So it is branded with the year. I feel like it's small enough that it doesn't detract from the honest 
like super cuteness of this bag. Sometimes I don't like that it's branded because you know it's hard to use year after year. This is not the case. I feel like this really is so small that it's not going to make that much of a difference in, when I'm wearing it year after year. I mean Abby's wearing it year after year. Here on the center pocket, you actually have a beautiful embroidery detailing. This is like a figment imagination rainbow with the Epcot Center logo here in the center, which is beautiful. And then you have figment down here almost as a patch style on the front. I believe he's a patch. I don't think he's embroidered. Oh my gosh, he's embroidered! How amazing is that? So beautiful, so much detail here. And then you have the Disney Lug collaboration logo there on the bottom. And then on the sides, you have two elastic pockets. These are great for like a water bottle or if you wanted to put your sunglasses or things that you want to reach quickly in here, but it gets better. This actually has a hidden magnet closure. I don't know if you can hear that finding itself. It is super strong, so it's going to protect the items that you put in this pocket. And then on the inside, you have a secondary pocket, also has a magnet closure here. And this one is actually suede lined, so it is a protective case for your phone or your sunglasses. Things that you don't want to get scratched or beat up in your bag go right in that pocket, and then they have a magnet closure to keep them nice and secure. Such an amazing style detail there. And then on this side, you have the magnetic pocket. No extra pocket in this one, so you just have the one with the super strong magnetic closure. Moving to the back of the bag, you have a mesh detailing on the back, so it actually is breathable. It's not going to hold sweat or anything as you're carrying it throughout a long day. And then you have padded straps. This is my favorite kind of strap. It is double padded, nice and comfortable. You can wear it for hours and hours, and it's not going to cut into your shoulders. And then something that is so cool about lug that I have never seen in any other brand bags is that this is actually lined with a non skid material it's almost like a silicone kind of lining and that goes from here all the way down to here on the strap so whether you're wearing this on top of a rain jacket or you're wearing it maybe with a sleeveless blouse this is not going to rub and rub and cause any sort of rash or annoying you know chafing anything like that this is going to be super functional and comfortable and the straps are both fully adjustable as well this is the longest that the strap can go so it actually goes quite long and this one the shortest is 19 inches and the longest is 33 and a half inches I will show you what it looks like on me at its shortest and at its longest so you can kind of get an idea of maybe whether or not it would be a good fit for you. Okay, so moving it to the inside of the bag, first off, you have a double zipper, which is always a mark of quality. These say lug on them, and it's such a smooth zip. Like, this is a one-hand, easy zip, easy on, easy off, so amazing. And then look at the inside print of this bag. I am obsessed. It is Epcot in in a mural basically. So you have different pavilions from the World Showcase. You have music notes. There is Spaceship Earth hanging out there in the center. Here is the brand logo. So there you go. That is the style name of the bag right there. It says the Lug Hopper Shorty. So this is the mini version of the hopper bag. So it doesn't have the full length. Um, that one's like a full size travel backpack. But I love that they put the style right there. So it's super easy to see and understand. There's a full pocket back here in the back with an elastic uh, band so it's going to hold your items in place really well so inside the back wall pocket so this has a mesh closure or a um, elastic closure here on the back when you open this there's actually what they call a little accessory pocket built in on the side so this has two little slips 
on the back wall. So you could use this for your glasses, you could use it for pens, maybe like hand sanitizer wipes, things that you don't want to get lost in the bottom of the bag. I know it's really hard for you guys to see, but it is such a cool feature. So you have two extra little accessory pockets here on the side, inside the large back wall compartment. And then flipping the bag around to the front, this is a PVC clear lined pocket. So this means you can see everything that's inside your pocket as you're going. So it's a full zip closure here. And then this is a really large pocket. So this one doesn't go the full length of the bag like the back elastic one does. It goes to about here. So I would say maybe here on the bag. So um, yeah, it's a little bit more shallow, so easier to grab things, but you can see what's in there because it's a clear PVC pocket, which is amazing. There are two slip po or two zip pockets here on the front. Again, the zippers just glide with one hand, no more like wrestling to try to get it open. And these pockets have a little like exciting feature that makes them unique. So the first one is that this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So my fingers are going all the way down here. So you have a huge pocket, again, great for a tablet or something longer. And you can see it does have the same interior lining as the inside. And this pocket also goes all the way up to the top. So just because it has this cute little monogrammed flap doesn't mean that you lose an inch and a half of space because this actually goes all the way up to the top. So they really maximized the space here. When you open this guy up, he goes to the bottom, which is down here, and then he actually also goes all the way up to here. So you have more space in these pockets than meets the eye, which is amazing. So that is the interior of the bag. One final little pocket, which is actually my favorite. I saved the best for last, in my opinion. And that is this little side zipper here on the back. This one actually goes all the way across to this seam. And it's like this little hidden secret pocket. And it is fully lined with the suede lining as well. So again, for your phone, for your wallet, maybe a mini tablet could fit in here, although it's probably only like a four and a half inch opening. So maybe not. But if you have the largest of cell phones, it will totally fit in this back pocket. And I just love that it's hidden. It's up against your back. So as you travel, if you put your passport in there, your wallet, things that you don't, you want to keep the most secure will be up against your back. And then it is again, just a zipper closure, nice and secure. Again, the organization in this bag is unreal and the size is so large. You could fit everything in here, a rain jacket, mini umbrella, water bottle, although you don't need to put it in here because you have the pocket on the outside. So many things could fit in this bag and that is what is so great about this size. So this one, like the interior tag said is called the Hopper Shorty. So it's a condensed version of the true Hopper backpack from Lug. And I want to go ahead and show you guys what the straps look like so that you can kind of see it and get a little bit of an idea of the fit on this bag. So I know it's really hard to see in the frame because I'm pretty close up, but this is where the bag at its longest hits me. It's sitting actually on my bum. So it does have a really large extender on this one so it'll fit a lot of different frames and I do also have a lot of extra room when it's fully extended. Here is what it looks like on my back so you can kind of see size-wise what I'm talking about. It is probably the same width as me so it actually fits really comfortably on my back. I don't feel like it's too small, too big. I don't feel like it's taking over and making me a little bit lopsided. Um, and at its longest, like I said, it's hitting a little bit below my hip bones, um, but really a comfortable style all in. So then this is the shortest that the strap goes. You have lots of extra at the bottom, but this leaves opportunity. So if it's getting heavier and you want it to relax on your shoulders, you can loosen it. Or if you're a petite frame and you want it to sit as high up on your shoulders as it can, it also has the really uh, um, the ability to have short straps as well. It's made of a 100% polyester material on the outside, so it's going to be water resistant, weather resistant. If it rains, you can wipe it off. If something spills, you can wipe it out. And the only thing that is not that polyester is going to be the mesh on the back. And the reason they did that is so that it's not like a sweatsuit on your 
your back. The polyester doesn't breathe because it's obviously water resistant, so you don't want it to breathe. But on the back, it's really nice that the part that's up against your body is going to breathe and absorb a little bit, so it's just more comfortable. That is it for my bag review on this Hopper Shorty bag from Disney and Lug. I honestly give this bag 10 out of 10. I think size is great organization is phenomenal and comfort is there because it has these amazing padded straps. I definitely would recommend this bag if you are looking for a park bag that's a little bit on the larger side um, but has organization to the max. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Did you get one of the Figment Festival of the Arts bags or are you excited to try it for yourself? If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It does really help our channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future bag reviews or fashion content in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye!